breaking news. A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space, with first contact made in the nation's capital. Our reporter, Andre, is live in Wellington. What can you tell us, Andre? Oh my god, thank you. I'm Andre in Lambton Key. As you can see, there is panic in the streets as New Zealanders have woken up to find aliens throughout the town and cities. These space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet unless we give them what they want. The risk of harm to the public is very real and... Andre, are, are you there? We have appeared to lose our signal. Now, in a bizarre exclusive, an alien has taken one of our reporters into their space vessel to broadcast their demands. Well, yes, it's very tense here. What we can tell you is that these alien creatures smell really awful, like a mixture of burnt toast and rotten milk. It looks like one of the aliens is about to address us through some special translation device. <laughs> Hello. Listen carefully. We are superior beings from the planet Zuckerberg, from the galaxy of your mother. We want a few things from you people. We want a singular building. We want all the lanterns. And we want one singular car. If you do not bring us these items as soon as possible, we will attack you with our fingers. You have three days. That's all. Make your voice heard on Twitter using the hashtag OMGAliens. Currently, the government is preparing to make a statement, so we cross now to parliamentary reporter Kiki. Thanks. Um, so crowds have gathered here, but a lot of them are still on their way to work. And some people are still quite unaware. Aliens have invaded people. Wake up! Be afraid! Oh, here comes our Prime Minister Scarlett Durand to address the nation. Tēnā koutou katoa. People of New Zealand, this is your Prime Minister asking each one of you to remain calm. It is important that we do our best to make these space aliens feel welcome. We must display all the friendly qualities that define us as New Zealanders. Later today, we will have a poor fitty. Then I will join the alien leaders on a helicopter tour of our beautiful country. Our hope is that these beings will spare us distraction and move on to Australia. If you come across one of these creatures, we recommend that you hold your breath, smile and quickly walk away. In the meantime, carry on your, bin your business as normal. That is all. Thanks, Prime Minister. Now, where to from here? To help us answer this question, we've collected a panel of alien experts to discuss what you can do at home to get through this event. Can you hear me there? What should we all do? Well, the first thing we should be doing is painting our face green and whenever we're going out to buy food. But until then, stay at home. We'll be rolling out enemy police and military camps to survey all of New um, Wellington and New Zealand. Um, we'll be keeping an update on all the new um, alien gadgets and devices we'll be using against them. But I do think we should be actually trying to communicate with them, don't you think? We could try to communicate, but as they said, we need to give them the finest Lamingtons. We should try to give them the best cars we can get our hands on and the finest buildings. Mm, yes, I do agree with that, actually. Yes. Yes, as the Prime Minister said, stay calm, um, if you can and uh, run. Well, well, so much for the opinions of the experts. Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at the mayhem happening up and down the country. Thanks, Summer. Let's have a look at what's happening out there. In Auckland, there is outrage as the aliens try to knock over the Sky Tower and use it as a space antenna for their ships. Keep away from the downtown area. In Wellington, the railway station has become a transit lounge, where they are relaxing in preparation for killing us all. Meanwhile, confusion in Canterbury, where aliens have formed a very strange partnership with the region's cow community. 
and in Dunedin, creatures have been spotted rolling down the world's steepest street. The aliens are said to be extremely dizzy and should not be approached. Well, I'm going to go and hide in my basement. Back to you, Summer and Ray. Finally, we interview someone who claims they have a close encounter with the creatures from outer space. Our reporter, Richie, is here with that person now. I'm here with Maggie, who says they were once abducted by aliens. Hello, and thank you very much for being here. Um, the alien invasion must stir up some painful memories. What exactly do you remember about the creatures from outer space and what are they really like? Well, they look a bit like humans, but way scarier. How has this experience, how has this experience affected you? Well, they did not harm me too much. They studied me for weeks, which was really scary. Finally, Maggie, as a person of experience with this extraterrestrials, what do you think we should be doing? All I can say is if you see an alien, run, run as fast as you can. Well, thank Maggie, thank you very much for being here. Back to the studio. Thanks, Richie. Well, I'm going to run home to my mummy. And I'm going to eat as many lollies as I can until I'm sick. All the aliens keep. Meanwhile, stay in tunes for updates or follow our live stream to watch the end of humanity as it happens. Goodbye, everybody. May these terrifying and foul-smelling aliens have mercy on us all. Kia kaha, and we'll see you tomorrow, if there is one.